Hey guys, so I have had a lot of questions on how I finish my coasters and trays and stuff. So I thought I would do a dedicated video on showing you guys how to do that. I have some examples right here. So this one has a copper or rose gold edging on it. And then this one has a gold edge. This one's a lot thinner. These are my favorite coaster molds. I'll have everything I talk about linked down below um, from Amazon. But these ones just, they're really nice. They're really easy to use. I use a silicone release spray to make sure that it pops out of the mold nice and you're not ruining your coasters or your molds because I've done both. That's not fun. So make sure you use a silicone mold release spray when you're doing any molds and that way you won't have a problem. So these are just some gray and white coasters that I did the other day. I'll have a video up on this, these coasters. Um, I don't know if it'll be before this video or after, but should be soon. So anytime you pour in a mold, unless you're filling the mold like perfectly level up to this line, which is really hard to do, you're most likely going to have like a little bit of a lip, like a little bit of a hard edge. It's doesn't really feel nice. It's just kind of like it doesn't look the best. So what you wanna do is you wanna sand that down. I forgot to grab my sandpaper. So I have some sandpaper. This is a 240P, 240-B, or A275. I'm not really sure what these numbers mean, but just a really fine grit sandpaper. I like to just fold it and then take one of the coasters and kind of hold one hand. And then I'm gonna press on this, that sharp edge but you wanna make sure not to get the sandpaper onto the top of your coaster or else you're gonna leave scratches in the top of it. You don't wanna do that. You only want to get that hard edge. So it's really simple. You just kinda of go along the whole edge like this. And depending on how high and sharp your edge is, you'll have to do this more or less, but you can feel it. You can go down to just completely flat, smooth edge if you want. I like to leave like a teeny tiny bit of a lip. It's really hard to see, but um, I like a little tiny lip. And the reason why is it helps guide your pen when you're doing the edging. And it's, I mean, it doesn't feel, it feels fine once you sand it down. It's no longer like a hard edge, hard, sharp edge, I should say. So you just keep going all the way around and just keep that angle, try to show you guys. So I'm angling my thumb outwards a little bit, so I'm getting that top edge, but making sure I don't go onto the nice smooth surface of the coaster. So then I usually feel it and feel if I need to do any more. So then once it's good enough, I go wash it off. I'm just gonna wipe it off. But I do like to rinse it off and make sure that there's no more dust. And because these are gray, I'm gonna use silver. This is a deco color silver paint pen. I'll link below my video on all the paint pens because I tried so many different brands and this is one of my favorite ones. So what I like to do is I just kind of hold it and just kind of gently go along the edge like that and you can see it's just kind of helping guide the pen because of that like little tiny bit of a ridge and then if you happen to mess up you can wipe it off when it's still wet but when it dries it like does not want to come off. It doesn't even want to scratch off. So just make sure you're paying attention to that. And so then after that, I go and do the side.
So then that's done. So you can see the difference that makes. It just kind of finishes, gives it a nice polished look. And it's super simple and just using a cheap paint pen. Um, so once this is done, it does take a few minutes to dry. I usually set it on top of something. Like if I have something, I'll just set it on top like that and give it like 10 minutes to dry. And that's all that I do. So on this one, I did a little bit thicker on this edge here, if you could see that. So it just kind of depends on your preference. And then I also did the underline on the bottom because these are more clear. So just kind of whatever size line you want to do is up to you. But I just think it's a really simple way to finish things. So then I'll show you like this tray too that I did. Just really simple to finish the edges. And it just looks so much more polished and just gives it that like extra just extra I don't even know it just gives it extra fanciness I guess but it's super simple and yeah that is how I do my coasters so yeah that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and ring the little notification bell so you know when I upload and I will see you guys in the next one bye